door through the phone with... Your, your Honor, can I... My daughter is in confidential foster care. Mrs. Weller had somebody follow me Listen to pick to me. her up. Listen to me. I'm not interested. I'm telling you, you will all make a mental cripple out of a five-year-old child. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, he now has a lawyer who I hope is a good one, and I hope you have a judge who is a good one and will be able to ferret this all out. I've been hoping for that for the whole time. Well... For four listen. years, I've been hoping for somebody to actually see the truth. Your Honor... Well, it, it, listen to me. The truth comes in many shades, Mr. Bradshaw, and it is very possible that you are correct. However, 17 referrals to Child Protective Services and not one of those referrals resulted in a finding of abuse or neglect suggests to me that there's something else going on here. How much child support do you pay? Three forty-eight a month. And do you pay it every month? No. I'm dismissing the case at this point. Your Honor. Without prejudice, your complaint and your counterclaim. You're going back to the family court. I assume each of you, if you're smart, you will be represented by counsel. Most importantly, the child will be represented by an attorney. And hopefully, it will put the matter to rest. If not, what you're going to do is you're going to create an emotional, mental cripple out of a child because you are all nuts. Your That's Honor. all. <laughs> Out. Bodies are excused. Okay. You may step out. I hope that what is best for my son will happen. Nobody will listen to him. Nobody will listen to me. He definitely shows the effects of being interviewed so many times and having so many accusations made. The best way to resolve it is for somebody to listen to what my son has to say, listen to what I have to say. I'm hoping that I'll be left alone and that I'll just be able to be free to live my life. My son is not being listened to and nobody wants to hear what I have to say. And now, the next case. All parties in the matter of Kizamore versus Klein. Step forward, please. Alan Kizamore is suing his great nephew, 19-year-old Eric Klein, for damage to his Jeep. Alan claims Eric crashed into the vehicle while doing donuts in the mud. Mr. Kizamore, the defendant